Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you've all had a really nice Christmas. I know I've definitely enjoyed having a few days off to sort of recharge my batteries and just spend a bit of time, family and friends having a bit of fun, uh, which has been really nice. So I'm, I'm definitely feeling recharged, feeling like I've eaten way too much as well. Um, I'm not feeling the best for that either, um, but it's been really nice this year. Um, normally around Christmas time, I'll have a few days off and then I'm straight back into work. But this year I haven't rushed back into work. I haven't really done any social media posts. I haven't really done any messages. I haven't bothered doing any videos or stuff like that. So um, yeah, this year's been really nice just to sort of chill out for a bit and not feel guilty about um, not doing work stuff basically. But I'm back in this morning, it's bank holiday Monday, I'm back to work um, and I'm feeling really better for it. Like I said, recharge the batteries, had a bit of time off um, and sometimes a little bit of rest is what's needed to sort of bounce back um, and go at it again. Because to be fair, I was feeling a little bit demotivated with the work and I wasn't starting to enjoy it. But after having a few days off time, it's been nice. And then now, bank holiday Monday, I'm back in at work. And as you can see, I've got this Seattle Ibiza behind me. I'm obviously at my unit this morning. So I'm obviously at the unit this morning. And as you can tell from the title, I am starting a new series, which is going to be like a disaster detail series. Um, so you might have seen some disaster detail series where some detailers have had really filthy cars in and they're basically trying to transform back to showroom condition. And I put a post up a couple of weeks ago um, asking people if they've got a really filthy car um, or asking people to see who's got a really filthy car that they need to clean up. And to be fair, no one got in touch. Well, apart from Josh, I've got Josh's car with me today who I've done the tints for and done the number plates for over the last year. But no one else really got in touch with me, which I was really surprised about, because basically you could have had a chance to have your car clean for free and it would, didn't matter what condition it, what it was in. So Josh was the only person that got hold of me about it. And I did have a few people um, message me, but the car would, just wasn't filthy. It was like, it was like doing a maintenance clean on a car and that, that just wasn't what I wanted. But this morning I've got this Seattle Ibiza, which is in a desperate need of a detail. It's in desperate need of a clean. There's stuff everywhere inside it. The outside is absolutely hanging. Um, this was white once and the interior did have five seats. Um, which you can barely see at the minute. It's absolutely trashed. Um, and Josh won't mind me saying that either. He's said he's happily, he's happy for me to do a YouTube video on it. Um, and he's happy to show you the before and afters um, of what I'm gonna be doing on this car. So, idea of this series is to, and one of the ideas of this series is not only to transform um, someone's car and get it to a better than showroom standard, if it's absolutely hanging. I also want to, in 2021, um, obviously there's a few, uh, mobile validators and unit based detailers who watch the channel um, and I'm in touch I'm in contact with quite a few of you, you as well because also you've been in touch for various few bits and bobs one of the things in 2021 is I want to get some of you guys in with me down at my unit to help detail these disaster cars like I want to get some of you uh, down at the unit to help help me transform some of these absolutely horrendous cars that we'll hopefully have in over 2021 so I'm going to be doing, after this video, I'm going to be doing a little ask around to see who we can get over the next few months to transform their cars, get them to send us photos of what it's going to be like and basically just go to town on it. Spend a full day or two days, whatever it may be, um, we can machine polish it, take wheels off, do the calipers, do the windows, do whatever it needs to be to get it looking spanking basically and make the owner fall back in love with it. Because at the minute this car, this car is absolutely hanging and I'm sure Josh um, hasn't got the love for it anymore, but I'm hoping afterwards he'll absolutely fall back in love with it and he'll start enjoying and looking after it again. One of the ideas for 2021 is to get a few of you, a few of you mobile validators and unit based detailers, I want you to come down and help me do transformations on these cars. It'd be a nice way to sort of network and meet up with a few of you um, who I'm in touch with. Um, I know there's a few people that want to do collabs and stuff like that and I think this will be the best way to do that and then it will help out then say if I've got a big car on that needs detail that's not necessarily an absolutely savage one but I might be able to get a couple of you down to help me do the bigger bigger jobs um, like the McLaren that we've done and the Ferrari that we've done that's always nice to have a bit of an extra pair of hands it would be nice as well for the guys who are watching the YouTube videos like the valeters and the detailers to try out some of the products. I'll provide all the products. I'll provide the equipment. Obviously they might need, if it's a machine polishing job, we might need extra machine polishers. So if a few of you've got them, then that'll work out ideal. But it'll be a way to sort of use a few new products as well, because I know some of you are not that familiar with some of the products that I've got, like the Sam's range or the built handbell, 
and I think it'll be nice as well to for me to show my methods and also learn a little bit more about other people's methods as well because as much as I've been doing this for sort of four or five years I'm still learning um, and the industry is for, sort of forever moving it's forever growing there's a lot to learn there's a lot to keep up with and it'd be a good way for me to learn from a few of you guys as well I know there's a few people starting out but everyone's got different ideas everyone's got different methods, methods of doing things and it'd be a nice way for me to learn it'd be a nice way for some of you to learn and it'd be nice for the subscribers to watch as well and it, it'll also be nice for the subscribers to watch um, sort of detailers and valeters get together um, have, a, have a bit of a laugh at the same time and sort of do different and then you'll be able to see all the subscribers will be able to see and the viewers will be able to see each different valeter or detailers way of doing it and, and how we work together basically I think it'd be a nice little way to sort of get the detailing community together um, and yeah, just be having a laugh at the same time. Not only, obviously, are we doing that, we're also getting someone's car up to a better than showroom standard, so they'll be really happy about that. And then hopefully as well, it'll get some of the valeters and detailers a bit more experience with some of the products I use, some of the products I sell. Um, and it'll be ju just a nice way for all of us to network and meet up with each other, and then we'll just see how it goes from there onwards. And that's my idea. So if there are a few... Um, Valeters, detailers watching this um, or who are in touch with me and I've seen this video then obviously do give me a shout do let me know but I know there's a few of you I'll be messaging anyway um, but if you're watching this video and you do want to come down you do want to help out um, then it'd be good to do so so anyway enough of me waffling on because that's five minutes of an intro um, and let's show you around this car which is in desperate need of a decent clean seen the short clips of the inside and outside of the car as you can see it is hanging there's no question about it you can't see the floors in the car and you can barely see the back seats um, but I'm confident I'll get a really decent result on this so I'm gonna be doing a full wash in it full decon hand polish hand wax I'm not gonna machine it or anything like that it has had a paint job as you can see from like the door shuts and stuff so areas like the door shuts are not gonna be able to get up because um, they've been painted um, there's a few bits of overspray, spray and I'm not going that mad on this one this one's just to show you exactly what I'll be doing and some of the stuff that will be included in some of these disaster details inside obviously got to remove all the rubbish um, make sure I don't get rid of any of his belongings because as much as there's a load of crap in there obviously some of that stuff is actually his personal belongings so I'm gonna bag um, all the rubbish bag all the decent stuff and then obviously bin the crap stuff and obviously keep the other stuff in the boot and then obviously I'll be hoovering it, shampooing it, doing all the dash of door plastics and seeing what we can get. And I'm not too sure what it's going to be like once we remove all the rubbish because it's either even, even worse when we remove the rubbish or it might not even be that bad when we, when we remove all the rubbish in the crap. So it'll be interesting to see um, exactly what the condition of this car is like once we remove all the rubbish. But we'll see what that is like. I'm going to bring that back inside in a bit and then we'll, we'll see what it's like from there. I'm going to wash it outside now because it's raining and it's cold. So I'm going to get all the washing methods done first. Um, and then we'll be bringing it back inside to do all the interior bits. Um, I thought I'd just show you exactly what I'll be doing um, on the outside first. I'll show you what I'm using and then we'll go from there. So I've got my three buckets, one for the wheels, one for the wash and one for the rinse. I've got my Kranzel pressure washer, which I'm using from the van there, just because I haven't bought an attachment for the hose there. Um, so yeah, I'm using the Kranzel today. 
I've got my snow foam, which is built hammer snow foam. I've got the uh, built hammer APC in the Sam's Detail and Bottle, and I've got the built hammer Corosol uh, iron and fallout remover, um, which I'm using on the wheels and the paintwork. And I've also got the Sam's Detailing exterior brush, which I'll be using for the rubbers and stuff like that. And obviously, most importantly, a Yorkshire brew, um, which I'm which I'm going to be needing a few of these throughout the day to get me through doing this car. Um, I'm also grabbing a few bits from the van, which I haven't quite sorted yet. But yeah, let's make a start on this car and see how we get on.
laminated and it's been dried. I'm just going around it with a blow dryer now. Um, as you can see, it's looking a lot better. I've got that sticker to remove there because it's left all the glue, but all the um, fancy artwork that, on, well, that was on the back is now gone um, and it is looking a lot cleaner. I'll show you around the car now just so you can see it. Um, but obviously just drying off it with a blow dryer and it's looking a lot better. So, now it's time to start tackling the inside. I'm not gonna go too mad on the outside until the interior is done. Um, so plan is to get all the interior stuff out um, and then just see how far we, we get with it. Um, this is gonna be fun, it's gonna be really interesting. Jake just popped by um, to grab a couple of bits because he's cleaning his car today and he's sorting his number plates out and I said, look in that car and let me know what you think. He looked in it and he said, he, he thought it was a joke. He thought that that had been set up um, but yeah, it hasn't, that's how it is and that's how it has been um, and I've got to see how well I can get it cleaned up basically. So what I'll do now, switch over to a time lapse, we'll get all of the stuff out and then we'll see what the condition of the car is like once all the rubbish is removed. All the rubbish and all the belongings are now out of the car. I've got a hoover it, but before I do, I thought I'd show you um, what the condition of the car is like underneath all the rubbish and underneath all the crap. And I'll show you the bag of rubbish um, that I've gathered from this car. It is ridiculous. Um, the smell gets worse in this car. Obviously, you won't be able to. Obviously, you won't be able to. You won't know that. But the smell of this car is obviously it's got that sort of cigarette smell, smoke smell, which I don't like anyway. I hate smoking. Um, and I hate the smell of it. So Josh, if you're watching this, I'm sorry about that, but I just don't like the smell of it. And then once you start getting everything out, you start to realize how bad it actually does smell. So all the seats will be getting shampooed. Um, and I do need to get a steam cleaner. So I used to have a steam cleaner back in the day, but it broke um, and I never replaced it for some reason, but I do need to get another one. So I might order a cottage steam cleaner because that would have been perfect for today on this one. Could have done the roof line in um, and I could have got the smell. I could have removed the smell. Um, even more but I'll show you the condition of the car now so obviously it's all got a hoover it but that's the condition of the floors so as you can see all the fag ash all the dirt all the grime so hopefully I'm gonna find my drill and then use the drill brush attachment on these carpets um, and then that's the seat And you're wondering why I'm wearing pink gloves. Um, I was supposed to have a delivery before Christmas of black nitrile gloves, but they never turn up, which I need to follow up. But um, yeah, so I'm wearing these horrible pink ones. If anyone knows the best supplier for pink, uh, for pink, for black nitrile gloves, then let me know. I do want to start stocking them in the shop, um, but I just can't find any pairs, any sets at the minute, any boxes. And they all seem to be like 25 quid for a box of 100. But anyway, if anyone knows of any... Um, glove suppliers and give me a shout put put in the comments below but this is the condition of the center console lovely in behind the seats lovely this car could do with having the seats out to be honest but I'm not going that mad for this video because I've only got um, a few hours I haven't got like a couple of days to be working on this um, but it does need, it does need more, to be fair, as a fag there. Let's get rid of that one in the bin. This is the bin. This is a big black bag full of rubbish. There's Coke cans, bottles, drinks bought with McDonald's, fags, backy, filters, Rizzlers, you name it. It's a whole bag. It's a decent sack full of rubbish. You could, God knows, you could fit loads of Christmas presents in that. And I should filled with rubbish that's how bad this car was so yeah that's from distance to try and get it to focus so yeah it's not in great condition i'm not doing the boot everything's in the boot all the actual belongings are in the boot let's stick this one up there if i can it's all out in a minute but yeah the seats are going to need a shampoo door shut's going to need a clean obviously and that's definitely going to need a hoover jeez that's how bad the floors are. <laughs> so I'm gonna have fun doing this one. What's the steering wheel like? Didn't really check that. So yeah, just your usual dirt and grime. What's these, what like? 
just dirt, it's just fags, typical smoker's car basically. It's how I would picture a typical smoker's car. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, what I'm going to start doing now, start hoovering it all, start cleaning the plastics, and then we'll get on to scrubbing the, the seats and the carpets as well. And then we'll just see how well it comes up. Like I say, I've only got a few hours, got until about three-ish. Um, it's nearly 12 o'clock now. Um, so I'm going to spend about two hours on the interior, another hour on the outside, and then we'll call it a day on this car. But um, the idea of these videos is to see how far we can go, depending on the time we can, we can the time we've got, which would be ideal to have, I'd say, a couple of valeters, a couple of detailers helping at the same time as we could each do different jobs on the car and I basically get it to as decent as much standard as possible with the time that we have. But today I'm on my own. Um, I've only got a limited amount of time, so the job's gonna be very limited, but I'm still gonna make it look as good as I possibly can. So let's crack on, let's get this hoovered, get this cleaned, and we'll see what the interior looks like once it's done.
thought I'd show you exactly what I've used on this car to get this result that I have on it. So obviously for the interior, um, I've used the George Hoover, um, which is a wet and dry Hoover. I've used the new hose that I bought off eBay, which I linked below in the last video, but I'll link below this one. So this is an extra long hose, so you've got that um, extra length to leave that in one place and then get to the cars. I also upgraded the nozzle to the longer um, 33 centimeter, I think it is, 33 centimeter nozzle. Um, just makes it easier getting down behind the seats. Um, we don't sock George and matter who yours, obviously, but to dry the car and to get all in the nooks and crannies, get all the water out the mirror edges, the fuel cap and the handles and stuff like that, I've used the blow dryer. So this is the bigger one out of the three, um, which obviously has a warm function as well and you can change the setting between min and max, depending obviously how powerful you want it to be. So we do stock these, we haven't got any set of stock at the minute, but we will be restocking first week in January onwards. Um, some of the products um, range between the Stiano Gloss um, range, the Built Hamber, and the Sam's Detailing. So for the interior plastics, I've used the Built Hamber Surfex HD, which is like a water-based degreaser, um, which you can dilute down, um, which is really powerful, really good. Um, for the seats in the upholstery, which is that one there, I've used uh, the Poor Boys World um, Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner, which is actually is a really good product. Some people are not too keen on Poor Boys World products, but we do stock them, and I do really like the uh, upholstery and, and fabric cleaner. Um, for some of the outside stuff, I've used Sam's Detail and Tile and Clue Remover. There was like a sticker on the back um, that needed the glue to be removed, and obviously the tile and stuff as well, which I've used as Sam's Tile and Glue Remover. Use quite a bit of this Diana Gloss stuff, I do quite like that as well. So glass cleaner, trim, tire and trim dressing, um, gloss detailing spray and the spray sealant there, um, which has obviously gone on the paintwork. Um, for the carpets and obviously the glue as well, to get rid of the glue and the sticker, I used the toffee wheel um, and I've also used the drill with the carpet brush attachment just to get them up as well. Um, use the scan grip just to be able to sort of uh, see, because it's quite dark, it's not that dark in my unit, but because naturally it's got the walls and stuff so that you don't get as much light as what you do outside, so use the scan grip um, to obviously have a look in all the areas, make sure it's all clean. Brushes, that's a Valet Pro brush there. That's an auto finesse brush actually. I don't actually use any auto finesse products. I'm just not a massive fan of them, um, which is just my personal opinion really. Um, but I did used to use them a few years ago and this brush is probably a good few years old. Um, I've had this brush for ages and uh, that is actually a really good brush. So it's just a normal upholstery brush um, and obviously a normal tire and trim dressing, uh, tire applicator, a magic sponge. So this is a um, Koch Chemi magic sponge. I was, look, as you can see, it took a battery in doing that car. So that's the end of that. But that's a magic sponge, sponge. Just go around some of the plastics and stuff. Used this on the seats and on the carpets and on some of the plastics. Just literally brush off eBay. I'll put the link below. Sometimes these brushes are really handy. You wouldn't use it obviously on gloss black plastics and stuff like that because it is quite aggressive. But that is actually a really good brush. And they come in different colours. So if you're colour blind like Jake, um, you don't have to worry if you can't see purple. Um, and obviously there's a Sam's Detailing brush there. So that's it with the kit. Um, so yeah, that's the kit I've been using, some of the equipment. Also I've used loads of other bits on the outside, but this is uh, the stuff that I've been mainly using for the inside and outside of the car. Six hours and about 20 cups of tea later, um, the car, the Seat Ibiza is now complete. I actually feel like I'm just waiting on the customer now to come collect it. It's about an hour behind, from, I said it'll be about three o'clock, but it's about half three now, they're going to collect it at four. So about an hour behind schedule because of just how bad it was. I thought I'd spend a little bit extra on it. And I'm not in a rush today, it's bank holiday Monday. I'm not that bothered. Um, I'm not that bothered like that. So I actually feel like Nick Knowles on that DRA SOS where I've just like taken, rather than a house, I've taken his car and I've worked absolute wonders to it. And now they're coming in to collect it and I'm just seeing their reaction when it's all cleaned up. So I feel like a bit like Nick Knowles on DRA SOS. Um, well, doing up someone's house basically and waiting for him to come to come and have a look at it but maybe not the same sort of um, reaction but along the same sort of lines um, hopefully they're happy with it anyway otherwise that's going to be a bit awkward but anything's better than what it was as you can see from the photos and probably the thumbnail anything's better than what the what the condition was so I'll talk you through before I show you I'll talk you through exactly what I've done so it's been all been washed outside decon done the wheels done the arches done the door shuts um, brought it back inside for drying, um, done the interior, so I've hoovered it all out, well I've cleared it all out first, a massive sack full of rubbish, um, hoovered it all out, cleared it all out, 
I put everything in the boot. I haven't even touched the boot. Everything's just back in the boot. All the jumpers, all the crap is back in the boot. Got rid of the rubbish. Um, I've then cleaned all the dash and door plastics after shampooing the seats. Um, done the glass inside, done the glass outside. I was going to hand polish and hand wax the paintwork, but basically the paintwork's it's just savage. Like, I don't know whether you can hear. There's overspray all over it. I don't know if you can hear that. There's overspray all over it. There's areas where the paint's flaking off. I don't know whether some areas are too thin. It's just been slapped on basically. It's not a great paint job. Um, and I'm not gonna spend ages trying to hand polish and hand wax a paint finish that isn't great in the first place. And you could machine polish this, but to be fair, you'd probably end up taking more paint off than what you're actually doing and get rid of defects. But instead of hand waxing it, hand polishing it, and due to time as well, I've gone over it with a gloss detailing spray and then put a spray sealant on top. Because sometimes, a little saying that I like to say is, you can't polish a turd, but you can cover it in spray wax. So that's exactly what I've done. I've, instead of spending the time hand polishing and hand waxing this, I've used the spray wax, spray sealant, whatever you want to call it, um, sprayed it on, and that will give it some sort of protection on the paint. The chances are this car's going to get battered again, probably quite high, but I've put some protection on um, just to keep it protected. And it's a white car, it's winter, so it's nice to get something on there to keep it cleaner for longer. But yeah, if you can't, pol you can't polish a turd, but you can cover it in spray wax. I'm going to trademark that because that's going to get used from now on. Um, but anyway, I'm happy with the result. Hopefully the customer's happy with the result. So I'll show you the car now and then we'll talk a bit more after. As you can see from them clips, the car is all done and it's looking so much better. I'm really happy with the result, I'm really happy about it to turn out. Um, it's been a hard graft doing it today, um, but it's definitely been worth it with that result. I might pull it outside in a minute to get some more photos and videos, so you might see them after. I'll do a little montage as well. Um, but you'll have seen from the video as well, the door shuts have been painted badly. Um, let's, let's be honest, they have. There's a few bit specks of paint on the um, plastics and the uh, seats as well so if you've seen obviously a couple of little spots and a couple of little areas on the plastics or paint it's just because I didn't have time to get rid of it all and the paint's been on there probably so long um, that it's just going to be a nightmare to get off so there are still a couple of little specks of paint on the seats and the plastics but overall the car is looking so much better so I'm really happy with it I'm just waiting for the customer to collect now he'll be here literally any minute so hopefully he's happy with it he's going to be watching this video um, so I've had to be careful what I'm saying I'm not going to be too harsh um, but he knows, I said, said to him this morning, that is bad. He said to me, oh, don't worry, you're not going to catch Corona in it, but you probably would have caught worse things in that than COVID. COVID was the least of your problems. You can actually get passengers in this now, and you can get passengers in safely without them feeling like they're going to go away catching something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with the result. Um, hopefully he's really happy with the result, and I'm going to pull it outside now, get some photos, and just see, see what it's looking like outside. Um, but 
what I want to say is if there's any volunteers, any detailers watching this that are keen to get involved with some of these disaster details, um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be calling the series yet. Um, disaster detail is a bit of a copy from like, the detail geek and stuff like that. Um, but if you, if you guys are happy with disaster detail as a series name, then do please let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't want to try, I don't want to go like stealing anyone's sort of, I don't want to go stealing anyone's ideas or anything like that. Um, but uh, hopefully it, it might show more if it is called Disaster Detail. But if you've got any name suggestions for this series, then please do let me know. Like I say, I want to try and do this once a month where we get a car in that's absolutely hanging and then just see what we can do to transform it. If it takes a day, if it takes a few hours, or if it takes a couple of days, I've got the space for it and I want to get some of you involved as well. Even if you're enthusiastic about detailing or you're, like I said, a valid or a detailer that wants to do a bit of extra networking, wants to try out a few new and different products that I've got at the shop, then this might be the perfect opportunity for you to come down um, for the day or however long it might be, depending on the detail that the car's get, getting given. Um, and it might be a good way to come down, network, and then just um, try something new, basically. This year's been absolutely man mental. No one's been able to do anything. It's been hard to try and... Well, most businesses have been able to grow as much as they can, but it's been hard to try and um, do different things and try and network at the same time. So this, hopefully all being well will be a good way for us valeteers, us detailers to sort of network um, and meet each other, try each other's different techniques um, and then just yeah just have a laugh at the same time. I don't want it to be like a really serious detail video where it's like you've got to do it like this and you have to do it like that. You just do what you do with it. I want everyone to, to work how they work doing it um, and then obviously to chuck around ideas on different things as well because today would have been nice to have like people doing the outside, some people doing the inside and then just seeing how, how far we can go with it really. Taking seats out and all that sort of stuff is which I want to be doing in the near future with these disaster details. Get a car in, a black car or something that needs good machine polish. Have like two or three of us machine polishing at the same time um, and I think that would be a really cool idea to do. And it'd be great to meet some of you as well, because I'm in constant contact with a few of you. A few of you have messaged me about starting valet and business, or you've got a valet and business and you want advice. And it, I'd love to come. I'd love for you guys to come down, um, and obviously we'll meet properly, and then hopefully build a bigger relationship rather than something that's then rather than something that's just online. Because I'm keeping up to date with a few of you valeters and detailers, and your work's sick, and I'm really liking it. I'm learning a lot from you. Um, and yeah, it'd be nice just to meet you guys and what your work styles like and then just um, try and give each other the best advice as possible at the same time. Um, so if you're interested, please do let me know, comment below or message me on social media and we'll try and get um, together and do a detail uh, with a few of us and just see how far it goes. Obviously, and then that'll mean hopefully in the future I can then look at getting a bigger unit um, depending on how far it goes. And um, yeah, just seeing where we can go with it really, because uh, it'd be nice to get a few of you on board at the same time. And it'd be nice to meet a few of you as well. But like I say, even if you're just enthusiastic about detailing and not necessarily doing it as a job, pop down, it'd be great. Doesn't matter where you're from. Um, I'll try and sort something out regarding to sort of getting down here and stuff like that. Um, um, I might just try and do it as a bit of a fun thing on a Saturday or Sunday and just seeing how far we can go with it. So it'd be nice to see if we can get a few people to come down sort of free of labour basically just come down have a laugh have a good weekend um and then just go and get some food after and then just do a youtube video about it basically but we'll see how it, how it goes this is one of the ideas for 2021 i'm not too sure how it's going to go but it's not going to be any cost to me so it's not exactly like the Winslade bit um idea where it was a cost to me i lost loads of money and then um trying to bounce back from that but this is thing i can bounce back and there's no cost to me um if it doesn't work it doesn't work but i think it i think it will but anyway I'm just waffling, waffling and waffling. I've gone over the same things um, <laughs> and you're probably bored of listening to me. But like I said, if you're interested, drop me a message, comment below and we'll go from there. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Turn on any notifications if you can and please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're close to a thousand. We're not going to get to a thousand by end of January. I've probably cut it too short. I haven't done as many videos because of the incident at Winslade. But yeah, we're close and I'm, and I'm really happy with the way it's going. I've got a lot of good... Um, and interesting videos planned, both with detail and general life, and then just stuff like that. So please do make sure you hit the subscribe button, and do please share around the channel if you can. Anyway, I'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.